legs and tents today. I need some rocket boots. Rocket boots! What else we got? Vulcan! percentage of corruption I've gotten rid of just by lying out. Huh, that's weird. Can be upgraded with torches, that's true. Alright. So if we ah so we can make sticky bomb. Bomb and sticky bomb. We can duplicate this. Bring. Jelly jelly. Sapphire. You know what? I don't actually. Oh, there we go. So if I make. How many of these do I need? the answer. 99 again. Let's just make 99. Yay!
else can I craft? Get me out of here, goop. I'm out of grenades. Grenades. Womp womp womp. Any more bullets? Ooh, what's this? A jungle campfire. Nice. Grass seed, ah, uh, jungle torches. Right, I need a pick. Fine, we'll take the iron pick. Sharpening station is used for. I have an idea though. Regeneration. Oh, sweet. Some rotten chunks. down just while I'm here. 
All right. Corrupt torch. Interesting. You know. Is there something in it? Okay, it's laggy. Our torches. Here we go. I'm on a mission. Can't help it. Ah, it's a bee. Wait, did I make more bullets? I didn't. Here we go. One more potions. I would like to unlock this one. How many more do I need? Three more. Silver! Oh, eh, he's arrived. This game looks complicated. No, it's not. It's very straightforward. If you, if you uh, know the game, like I do, then you act in a way that it makes it look complicated. It's, uh, it's got progression and stuff to it, but it's also what you make of it. Um, but in journey mode, you've got al other elements like unlocking shit, so... <laughs> Let me know if you find any jungle specific gear that I can re research it. so I know what I'm picking up. So you wouldn't normally do this in regular Terraria, but um, but this is journey mode, so you can like unlock stuff. Oops, so I'm just, um, once you've unlocked it, you can spawn as much of it as you like. So I can just throw away what I'm not using and use What I am using. Two 
two more to go. So, uh, I am. Oh, need more of those. Got copper already. These platforms? Wood. Wood platform. Okay. Which way do I want to go? Guess we'll keep going down. Let's go back then and make some hemp. I make, I mean, duplicate. Ooh. Okay, they're not weapons. What are they considered? Not craftables. Bumps. I'm gonna start drowning. Need all the oxygen. Regeneration potion. There's a chest. statue. Research it. Gel can be used as ammo. Oh, that makes sense actually. Normally you would use a pick, but since we have unlimited bombs, it's way easier to mine <laughs> just using bombs. <laughs> Aha! Feral claws. Increases melee speed. Can be worn in vanity slots. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Archery potions. Recall potions. I need a dispenser. Okay. Can have bees. Oh, green torch. I'll take that. Okay, so claws done. Archery potions done. Now we're. What I need is like a loot potion so I can see, see the things that look that are of interest. Actually, Oh, this is interesting. I have to build a station at the edge of jungle corruption. Why 
by the edge. Mudstone brick. Oh, that's not even hard to make. It's where I emerged when heading up. Ah. myself up. It'd be ni nice if I could actually find a nice tunnel or a vein through the jungle instead of just going through solid mud. Oh, ouch, that hurt. I just grenaded the, <laughs> the bees. In my face. This is a pit, isn't it? Well, immunity to poison. Okay, nothing exciting. Ah, the stinger. bombs. <laughs> I don't mean to. Another wormhole potion. Oh. I'll take that. If we can get that. got here oh we got a host from the curator the curator right let's go for a little rail a little rail ride see what we can find oh, underground tree special ore ah Eat. 
eat it. Right, we'll just ride the rail. Oh, caught. Oh, there's a chest. Give me some good. Good, I need Hermes boots. I'll take that. Potions, Titan Potion and Recall Potion. Right, we get the Hermes boots. We can combine them with the rocket boots. Make rocket speed boots. Oops, oops, oops. Ah. Go, Teal Mushroom done. Wimhole Potion, one more to go. Jungle Spore is good. Jungle Torch. Vine's good. Okay, so I want the boots. What's being seen, said? Going out to walk the dock, have a look, back in 20, don't die. <laughs> don't die. <laughs> like that would happen. Alright, let's keep going. I'm on the railroad. What is this? Fury, I'm coming. I've got a blue fairy. I've had a green fairy before. Activates the fairy, actually. It is just the gym. Minecraft ish ish Oh crap ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I got stuck
the hell? I've not seen this NPC before. Guide to Critic Companionship. A fairy glow stick. Hovers when thrown. That's pretty cool. A fox tail. Oh gosh. So they've got a they've got a uh, what do you call them? A fairy NPC now. Druid's tree. Who are you? Fantasy. A party wagon. <laughs> Silly blue machine. Plasma lamp. A pogo stick. I'm in. Let's pogo this up. Let's buy two so I can research one. Press jump again immediately to do tricks. Where do I equip it? Oh, it's a mount. Sweet. So all these buildings you're seeing, uh, garbage and these ones are constructed. Well, everything you see here has been constructed by my buddy. How do I activate a mount? What's the button for mount? Find my shoes. Oh, look at that. light source other than my gun <laughs> no sand yet Found a snow biome though. Am I fell off or something? There we go. Come on, give me some sand. Gotta be here somewhere. Jesus, this world is massive. I like how the sunflowers glow now. Or shine. Fifty, get in there. 
top hat, do the lens, do the rest of these mushrooms. You're already done. What's new, garbage man? You you working yet? You're back at work. Here's your your uh, business closed. Are you destitute. Scout. A scout! Says Legolas. <sighs> Gotta be some sand soon. Graven from Dunderland. with my beard. I don't have anything on me at the moment. Huh. Shrooms, almost there. Another goblin? Interesting. I wonder if this is anything. Just wood. wood. It's just a fallen tree. Right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sand, we're here. Slime is fun. Oh, great. Think about the edge of the map. Sure am. something. I need flippers. Fortunately, I've researched these. What is this? Shell pile. All right, here we go. That sandcastle bucket. Right, I've 
I've got to... i got to dump some of this stuff. Slimes float. Slimes float. I've already got the same castle bucket. Hey, I'm done with those. Shell pile, hundred of those Have to make them, I think. Got any breathing potions? Oh! Swim, 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 swim. It's a light potion. Swiftness potion. Oh, look at that! There's a chasm here. Interesting. Well, let's try and we'll go down as far as we can. Someone's at the door. Be back. Dog. Well, that's annoying. Well, I didn't actually find a desert biome, but the, there's a huge chasm over there, which is new. So we will go back down to the jungle, or I could go look for, look for a desert and then west might be the other option.
Okay, let's see. Get rid of you. Oh, Gil's potion. I could have used that. Maybe I will. I'll hold on to one. Hey! Cool, I can teleport to friends now. Black ink. Oh, let's go research these things. So where's our lab? Here it is. So if I take this off, and this off, I wonder if I can take this off too and combine it. Here we go. Spectre boots. Can I combine Spectre boots? Oh, oh wait. <laughs> oh, we will unlock it. In case you want to share it with anyone. Spect boots. What else we can combine? I know we can combine some of these things. It needs to be a faster delete. Like move to trash button. Willow defeated. Oh, King Slime's here. Let's go kill him. Oh, maybe we can see him on the map. Be able to craft meteor bullets. I wonder if we can do any other kind of bullet. I have to try this out. But first, okay. Nothing. Apparently not. Maybe I'm not close enough to the tool bench. Maybe I need an anvil. Great. Chain, bucket, wall. Hmm. Alright, get rid of this. Like, this is so annoying. Alright, well, we'll get rid of all this stuff for now. There's a minor one of that. You combine the two. For new unlocks.
Give me some gel. Ta-da! this region potion get out of here get researched all right let's go well before we do I need some platinum I need to craft Craft. <gasps> oh, phew. I thought I just threw a bomb. <laughs> then it'll blow up the room. I need wood. I've got wood. What am I missing here? I just want to make a pick. Platinum. Our uh, wood platform. Here we go. We'll take the platinum pick. We'll take the platinum egg. And we don't want a platinum. We got a platinum bow, platinum armor. Okay. Sweet. Let's go find the sand. Find the desert. Fire floating in the background. That's new. Hey, there's some sand. Doesn't look like a desert farm though. This looks like a desert farm. Is it better? Oh man, I gotta go back. Down we go. It's not exactly exactly what I'm looking for, but it'll certainly do. Yeah, this is what I'm after. Those things are annoying. again. Oh, I just turned it off.
Okay, so what I'm looking for in here... I'm not actually 100% sure what I'm looking for in here. Scarab somethings. Excuse me. Scarab bomb. Might be 2D Minecraft, but it never had Gatling guns. Oh, this is a this is the early stage gun. This is the best pre-hard mode gun. It gets way cooler. <laughs> you get rocket launchers and all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of magic, magic items and magic weapons and magic armor. You can have summons, like summon an army of spiders or armies of uh, different things. what that little bird is that's on my head it's um it's a summon you just get it for free in journey mode like you start with it right, how many of these things do i need 97 okay now i should be able to craft them that that's the it's the dream here is that we can find what we need in order to craft them or we find enough of them that we don't have to so strong. There's some more. We're in business. Is that gold? It's gold right there. Shit. 
more. More. Evil little creatures. Evil. All right, what's being said over here? Minecraft needs guns, true. It's got crossbows. Soon, and Dad's magic will become a thing. Entire metal transit to main game gun seem like the next natural step. Just a six shooter or blocky. <laughs> yeah, um, you can get just a six shooter in this too. Well, pistol, it's called. It's just not very good. Hopefully, are you going to play Minecraft Dungeons? Curator, is it the next, uh, the next evolution in your Minecraft gaming? Oh shit. Hey, a chest. All I want is scare bombs. A snake charm float summons rope snakes. Oh, scare bombs, 19 of them. That's what we want. I was hoping. I was hoping. Alright, where are we at for these? 37. It's a, it's a good start. Let's try this. Oh, we don't need that. What do we got here? Snake charm. Armor, weapons, materials, consumables. Hmm. Snake charm, snake charm. I just researched it. At least I think I did. Maybe it wasn't more than one needed. This is... Snake. Oh, we can search. Snake. Charm. Huh. Okay. Must. Must need more than one. Just thinking about it sticking to building. OG build. Noob's dungeon. Does it have PvP? Uh. Yeah, that's a good question. I know Garbage Man's the expert right now. He knows everything there is to know about it.
No, I'm just the hype man. Really wanted to play Man Eater, but I'll wait till it's free. I don't even know what Man Eater is, so. I'm clearly out of the loop of what's going on in the gaming world. I don't even know about Minecraft Dungeons. But then, I don't play a lot of Minecraft, so. Lava. Hello. Hey, they're unlocked. Desert torch. Boom. Hard and stone. Unlocked. Sandstone something. These are fossils. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Uh, wormhole potion. Let's grab some of those. Those are cool. Some more ammo while we're here. Uh, no, we want consumables. Oh shit! <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Ah. Dynamite will just blow you to bits. Oh, shark. Shark, uh, what do you call him? Shark statue. Oh! See? <laughs> Half my life gone. Three. Let's see if there's any up here. Nope. something. Let's see what I found. 
Right, where are we at? Halfway ish. Oh, there's a banner. Shark statue. Yeah. You can summon sharks with that. Uh, there was a shark. <laughs> yeah. It's mine now. Dunrider boots. Work and run super fast and even faster on sand. Walk without rhythm and you won't attract the worm. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And we have those. Are useless, but hey, when you're unlocking stuff, you know, you just unlock it, you don't ask questions. Oops, get rid of all this junk. Silver chandelier. Um, the boots. I didn't research the boots. Let's do that. Done, Rider. Wonder how fast I run on Hey, that's the golf ring we see. Most pure and hallowed grass. Hallowed grass reduces enemy spawn chance. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, ciao. Oh, there's a door? Oh, there's a chest. Sweet. Wait, what? Ah, the golfer. Tiger Woods doesn't give a shit about the mob. Nothing ruining the backswing. Good old tiger. Oh, nice. A funnel fossilizer. Alright, so here's a snake charm flute. Potion, silver bars. Yeah, I researched this and I couldn't find it afterwards. Water breathing potions. More gold ore. Ah, here we go. Snake charm. Wait, let's try this. Hey, that's pretty cool. 
Oh, I put it on the ground. That's a sweet magic item. Funny I can't open the door now. Not that I need it, but I wonder how high it goes. Facing suit, slash, and fossil piles and extractor tends to Yeah, so I'm trying to unlock fossils as well. Down the loom. Right, let's go. Man, I gotta change those messages on Steam elements. They're too frequent. Nope, nothing up there. Ah, don't knock me in. Do I run out of bombs? Consumables. Here we go. Oh no, I, here they are. Stupid me. Oh, it's one of the big ones. Yeah, eat this. Eat this. <laughs> Liquefied. What is that? Scare bombs three. More. More. Another two. Scare bombs. Let's go this way, and this way. Oops. Oh shit, oh shit. Chest. Wow, where's my mouse kisser? What is that? Cumbersing stone. Alright, what do we got here? Spear. 
prevents item pickups while in the inventory. You are over encumbered. Okay, whatever that means. I wrap my head around that yet. Desert torch. Fifty-two. Getting there. Night owl potion. It's good. Thorn potion. Prevents item pickups while in the inventory. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah. So much for me. Okay, I can go do that. Well, just tell me when and I can go do it. Yeah, the music's really great. The, 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 all the different um, soundtracks they put on for the different volumes and stuff. I like it a lot. Alright, so we'll do one down here. I'm gonna get up head back up here. The ocean is finally in sight if I zoom the map all the way. <laughs> Thinking about them rolling messages also. Yeah, yeah, they're they're um way too uh, frequent. At the very least. Oh no, Sandra! <sighs> Chest. Wow, these boots are really good on sand. Ah, <laughs> oh, spelunky potions are the best. Let's use one right now. See the sand is still falling. Got it. Go bar will take take the potions. Throw a knife, sure, why not? Oh, it's lava. 
I must have gone down quite far. What kind of potion? Moving out of the biome. Ah! Oh, there's some over here, look. There's a chest. What's that? Salamander? Eat it, Salamander. Bat statue? Bah, best. Jeez, let me read it. Defense by five when nearby. Alright, this way, this way. Celestial Thunder Zephyr. That sounds great. What else we got? Oh, I have Cthulhu. Moss Blanky Potions. Junk. Sixty. Almost there. Oh, nice. Deadly Thunder Zap. Actually, we should use that and see what it does. So. Magic Missile. Funny thing about this Spelunky potion is once it wears off you feel you don't realize that it's worn off and you just feel like you're blind and can't see <laughs> anymore. Big one. 
Okay, that's worn off now. How many rounds? Oh! Standing right on dynamite. Uh, um, what do we got? Been thinking about remodeling. No, about seizing them and using them. Oh, Lord, how hey, lava. Just the Good thing you have more. So that's the point of smashing items in the item smasher and getting them to 100. Uh, so that in journey mode, when you smash items in the item smasher, you unlock the item for good. So then you can go, you can go into the item menu and just produce, you know, a, a full stack of that thing. In, in normal Terraria, you, that you don't have the item smasher. Oh shit! So everything I've unlocked is in here. So if I want some more um, ammo, because I've unlocked ammo, the bullets, musket balls, I can get 999 bullets. Otherwise you have to, you can buy the bullets from the guy and then um, you can actually craft bullets, you can combine them with things to make different kinds of bullets, like silver bullets or which do more damage and they do, they might have a bonus to something else, um, or meteor there's meteorite meteorite bullets rebound so they'll hit something and bounce back so you can potentially get two, two hits from a meteorite bullet if you're shooting at something with a wall behind it or you know, use trick shots to shoot around Good, just unloading into a beefy target. Uh... Oh, this one. Ah, here we go. Two more. Get in there. So yeah, so journey mode with you know things like that unlock stuff it changes the game so something you know it, it detracts some aspects of the game but it also introduces new new things like the unlockables it's it's actually quite rewarding to go hunt for something and unlock it fuck there's traps man those particular grenades because of what they do. Oh wait, we'll use that. We'll use one of these right now. Let's get the 
this. Nothing. There it is. There's probably some way to craft these bombs, but I don't know what that might be. I could probably wiki it, but you know, I'm in it now. Still nothing. Ooh, snail. A snail statue. Jeez. I'll take that and that. Oh, Scare bombs. junk. Ah, uh, yes, it is less tedious in many regards, especially if you like building, because then you just have unlimited material. Once you have, you know, you get, you unlock, you you mine a hundred stone, and then you have all the stone you could ever need on hand. Oh yeah, here we go. Is this a massive vein of ore? What kind of ore is it though? It's hard to tell what things are once you've got, um... Oh, it's a desert fossil. What the fuck is hitting me? That's a bat. Yes, more bombs. Alright, desert fossil. Time to... Time to eat some good do not want to be down here. Get out of the way! No! Okay, 
this has to go. Oh, falling lava. No, don't, don't, don't kill stuff. I need the fossil. Ah! Oh, there's more. Sweet. Okay, we'll put one there. What do you call this? Oh, crap! down into the cavern. I mean, though, you know we're far down because... Get loved. Just get rid of this lava. Just send it to the abyss. Oh, we've got to go upwards now, or sideways. Lava, universal danger across all games ever. <laughs> and in life. Uh, uh, wouldn't build in Terraria it isn't that kind of girl. Mistakes were made. Well, you need to build in Terraria to, at the very least, because you, to unlock, when you find an NPC, or to unlock an NPC, you have to build a house for them to live in. I mean, you could just build shacks with a, a, a seat and a, a light and a desk, I mean a table, but you still have to build something. Can't just half ass things, curator, okay? You gotta some some games require a bit of effort. I know that Minecraft's easy mode. <laughs> but Terraria is <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> oh, there's an NPC. So many busies now. I'd, I'd... Let's go get her. Ah, lava! Oh, it's not a. It's a druid or some shit. Nymph. Die, nymph bastard. Just 
Deceiver of Fools. Got an achievement for that. <gasps> is that what I think it is? Well, we're full up. Sphinx. A red husk. Oh, it's nothing interesting. Sixty-seven. I know how we can get rid of this stuff quicker. Stand on the edge of the lava. We're just gonna throw it out. Celestial thunder stuff. Squirrel. That's a mouse statue. Nice. Now we'll get rid of you too. And you. This is you. Okay. Maybe I should go up and then work my way down again. I don't actually know how to get out from this point. Because I've gone all over the bloody place. Yeah, alright, let's go back to the base. Wah. Let's go down into the... Hey, this isn't the way to the train station, is it? Yep. The Railway Express. Ooh. Zoom zoom. this direction from here Fossil it up. more consumables sticky bombs sticky TNT stickiest explosion you'll ever see in a game You got an achievement for killing a nympho in the game as against degeneracy. It's refreshing when a game rewards you for patrolling pixelated dots. Um, you know, um, Terraria is a game ahead of its time. <laughs> 
It's uh, got to be said. It saw the. It looked. It looked deep into the future and it saw what was coming. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, uh, nothing. Nothing good. Nothing exciting. gotta say it's fun just to have be able to just fire bullets away and not worry about ammo it's been a big plus because <laughs> I love the mini shark it's such a fun, fun weapon this has to go Aha! Uh -huh. Oh ho! Oh. Ooh! What was that? Uh, undead Viking statue? A king, st oh, king statue is good. Oh, nothing good. Nothing good in there. What's this? Burning spirit painting? Pigron? Oh, Pigron's a bad guy. Uh, buggy statue? <laughs> buggy statue. Oh, here we go. Nothing good. Willie the Travelling Merchant has arrived. It would be good to go and see what Willie has, but... Too bad. We're on a mission. Ooh, a pillar statue. <sighs> ever, ever closer. Divine Eye Viking Statue, King Statue, Table, Trash, we don't want it. Pillar! Pigron. Burning spirit. Amber. Fossils? Okay, I've got desert fossils. Torches now unlocked. Potions. Get lost. Don't want you. Getting there, getting close, boys. Getting close. Getting close.
over to an area we've been. That's right, I was going along a, um, oh, that's the jungle thing. We'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. I was found a, found a train track in the jungle. And I was traveling along it. the edge of the jungle or on the edge of something i.e. not where we want to go Get off me. Oi vey, the travelling merchant has arrived. The moisturising has begun. Speaking of moisturising, you were talking about train tracks. What do they lead to? Ah, oh, so it's just part of the random spawning of the world. Sometimes you can have underground train tracks. So, And if you go along them. So I found one. I came down here. I found one here. And I started travelling along it. And I got to here, but it's still going though. And it, and it goes this way as well. So when I'm done with these finding these scarab bombs, I will go travel the rest of it. And t potentially we can link up our rail system to it, because you can put in um, you can put in track. You can kind of shape the track so that you can direct yourself as you go along it. You can also put in, um, you can put in those kinds of, oh shit, tracks that um, give you boosts and stuff as well. Terraria's got all that. You can put in bounce pieces, so when you hit a wall it will bounce and send you back in the other direction, which can be good for creating. automatically, you know, zip you along the line to somewhere. My buddy's putting in, um... He is putting in stations along the surface. So if you're running along the surface at some point, you want to jump into the train track, you can get on it and head underground. Yes! Is that another seven total? 
83, we're getting there. All my hard work will pay off. My hard work of running around blowing shit up, shooting things. What is that? A banana split. <laughs> Found a banana split. I dropped another one. Medium improvement to all stats, 10 minutes duration. You need 10 unlocked. Well, about three. Regen potions, one more scarab bomb. Get out of here. I don't want you. Okay. through here. Oh, there's, a, there's another. Whoa! Ugh. Oh, wasn't any, even anything good. Oh, there's one. Another banana split. It's kind of random. <laughs> it's a random drop. Ouch. Oh, get out of here before that thing blows. So yeah, it kind of makes it a mix of creative and um, like Minecraft creative and Minecraft survival mode. It's very nice. Very nice. Speaking of moisturizing, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, there's one. Give me what I crave.
die. Here we go. Alright, I got one more. Or some some amount more. One more. Okay, we've been over that way ish. Oh, there's one. Doesn't look like it. No, it's definitely nothing there. Alright, we need some more bombs. And some more ammo. Oops, I don't want that. Clicking on the wrong thing here. We need 15 more to unlock, so 14 more. Worth it. Four scarab bombs. Didn't actually know that that was there. Just happened to blow it up. Stay down. Sweet. There's another one. Statue. Oh, here we go. This might be it. Nope. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Two. Stop it. There we go, we're done. Booyah! Alright, so watch this. Get rid of these crappy things. So watch what this does. So we, so we throw it on that trajectory. Blasts through in a line, so you can tunnel. It's not as big a blast radius as a um, as a TNT, but it doesn't matter. All right, let's clean this crap up. Mm. 
Night Owl Potion, Spelunky. Silver Bar. Hammer. So I might just go back to the base. Get out of this damn place. Sticky dynamite. Now, so with one of these, what you do is you take your fossil. Business. This will put a snake challenge. Okay, and you get it, and you go like this. Here we go. So you can chuck all your fossils or silt and stuff, and it processes it, and you get crap out of it. <laughs> and there's like a one in a something chance to get a um a rare pet. So let's see if we can get it. And yes, GG on the unlock. Tungsten. I wonder what the sturdy fossils are. GG. I had a uh, Blood Bowl match this morning, Lino League versus Goblins. My gosh, it was close, but it ended in a draw. I got diced on some key uh, moments many times. <laughs> many turns I got diced. It's all skulls and couldn't make any dodges or oh, all my GFIs I had three GFI blitzes and every time I got double ones didn't matter if I had a reroll didn't matter if I didn't have a reroll I was just getting loot yeah it's so bad I'll just do this stack if I want to pursue this thing in the future I will I'll just make a new stack of fossils and all right let's see what a sturdy fossil is Ruby, huh? Amber. Tin. Tungsten. Lead. Sure, sure. So good. Gold. You just get like random stuff out of the fossils, random ma raw materials. Okay. Can be placed. I wonder if I can, can I put them, no I can't, oh let's just research, it must be like a place material you can craft special blocks out of or something. Anyway so that's, it's cool, it's cool to be able to stream uh, some things again. Um, initially when I was playing Blood Bowl on my laptop it was crashing. Uh, like randomly and it was just a graphical some bug graphical bug was going on but uh, I changed the settings I actually went to window mode and since then it runs way better and it doesn't crash which is the good thing okay so projects I found in this ocean I found a, a, a tunnel here so I was keen to go explore that, and then I have should go the rest of this railway Minecraft track. I got distracted here. I blew up a hole. <laughs> okay. 
but I need to go to the... You go to the loose, so I'll be back in a minute. But yeah, I don't have anything to invest with. We've got kid-based expenses coming up. Do break fades. Do break fade. I've got washing I have to hang out too, which I might just do quickly before I. The Druid's tree. So my mate made all this. <laughs> Let's see where he is. Swear to slime, I'm in the home stretch there. Oh, he must be way out. Let's teleport to him. Alright, let's figure out how to teleport to him with my... I would... Okay, so if I go like this... Can I teleport like that? Oh, we have to be on the same team. Maybe? Click on their head on the full screen map. some fancy uh, screens like you guys have. <clears throat> Maybe I should just take the train. Zoom along the track because do 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 do. Zoom zoom. Zoom zoom. Zoom zoom zoom. Alright, oh, well, there's a station.
It's another station. Slimes. Another station? Oh, we're going above now. Oh, we're at the beach. Oh, whoops. That one. <laughs> it's around the wrong one. Uh, what other kind of potions? Recall. What other fancy things have I found? Uh, I guess one of these, maybe. Flipper, I don't know if he has a flipper. Oh, I researched those, I don't know if he's got those yet. Um... We got bat statues. We got sharpening station. I don't know if he has that. Statues galore. And we've got some banners he might have or not have. What else we got? Sandstone door? <laughs> Don't know if he's made one of those yet. Amber? A stack of amber? I don't know. Let's we'll see. Let's we'll see if he's got them. Red dye, teal dye. Thunder zapper. Give him one of these. One of these if he hasn't got those. Researched all of these. I don't know if he's got those. Sandstone silver. What if he's got this one? Do 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 do. Um. Where is the? It's amber. Where's fossil? Fossil. Good man, good man. Oops, we don't need that.
Aria shack food. <laughs> that explains it. What is that? Oh, that's that shell stuff. Alright, so there's nothing interesting down here, and I need to get out of here. Hmm. So I have a water potion specifically to go in that other... Um, oh! Ah, oh, tabs in. What does she get? Briefless and you want to play? Uh, play what? I, I'll ask them. Three is... Um, what is that series called? Final Fantasy. Okay, Star Stable well, because I got a few things for the but All right. All right, I'll be back. I've just got to go pass a message on to my daughter. All right, just hanging up this washing. Okay. Final Fantasy. Oh. Whoops. All right, so yeah, I just hang out this washing.
Okay, ducky. one track so if I link technically see I could mine a tunnel straight through this link up the track with this one and then we have extra track all right just hang up this washing Getting cold, man. The weather keeps descending into the Arctic. Most of the traveling merchant. Where is he? There he is. Let's go see what he has. There he is, there he is, there he is. Demon horns. Katana. Flamingo. This one. Let's see how the demon horns work. Because if I can, can wear the demon horns, screw it, I'll just buy a new one. Nice! So now, because I can. On cosmetics override helmet, so the cosmetic has a head effect. So if I take off the finch, we'll see. Now I've got horns. <laughs> Goat bird. <laughs> I have beaten the game. Mm. So yeah, so now I get the benefits of my platinum helmet. Five defense plus have if you wear the same set of an armor. And there are better these are base armors, so they don't do anything special, but later on you get cool armors. Um yeah, I should actually look into them. Actually, I think that's post hard mode. You can start getting some cool unlock summon unlocks. They have things fight for you, or or ones that regenerate mana, or 
regenerate health and stuff. What else do we have for sale? The katana? Oh, and the flamingo. say I'm going to go AFK for a bit I'll keep the world up get your easy word research all started but I plan to use the empty space beneath my town for some hardcore NPC so okay that's odd Just washing, then we can start on the rail. Horny helmets are very important. Is oh yeah, I pictured the guy being a, like a satyr. Yeah. In uh, in my D and D campaign. There's, there are characters who are goat men, like satyrs, I guess, but they're just called goat men, and um, they, they always start with the name goat, whatever their name is, <laughs> like goat beard, goat horns, goat hooves, goat face. Something's howling. Hold on, hold on. Jeez. 
Which one? So you have both stopwatch and countdown timer. That's stopwatch. Do 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 she has to make ice cream, essentially. And do some tests. Let me say she doesn't need it. Okay. Yet. Yet. <laughs> She'll come and tell you if she does need it. Yeah, I know. Okay. An observation I made is that a cat may or may not want to go through a door, but if the door is closed and they are within a certain vicinity to do it, and you open the door, it will, like a black hole, suck the cat out or into the void. Like opening of the void is grounds for a cat just to enter it. It's strange. Whereas a dog will like know if it wants to go out or not. Whereas the cat's like, I have to enter this void. Now that it is opened, it's created a vacuum. Almost done, almost done. Thought there'd be more. But that's right. There doesn't need to be more. Jumba. All right, it's time to get in, started in on this project. At the very least, I can dig the hole. Oops. Just gone under the bridge. Under the bridge. Whoops. Die flying fish. Okay. So what is this? Is this just a tunnel? It's just a tunnel. Should it start here? Check that out. Clean lines. Oh, 
crap. what this does okay so they're they're kind of rolling flat but these ones went on an angle for some reason so what if I go like that okay what uh, I don't understand yet this works. Oh no! He said he was stepping away. Something's obviously happened. Hmm. Let's just try to join it again. to do something before I do that. Uh, I have to hide the password. <laughs> you never know who's watching, you know? You never know. Oh, there we go. It was just a crash or something. It was all just a trick. So yeah, this is scary. The fairy. Rawr, people. Too many. Irritate. In the forest, good run, play, hunt, ye. ye. Dog ears, dog tail. Black studded saddle. Summon a rideable dark horse mount. White horse mount. A painted horse. A mollusk whistle. A rideable flamingo. Apply die to minions, oh that's cool. Kites can be flown on windy days. A koi kite. I have a kite. I have a jellyfish kite. Yellow willow sapling. Sakura sapling. Dog license. Used to let a dog arrive in town. Cat license. Alright, let's see these. A leather whip. Your summons will focus struck enemies. Oh, that's interesting. A squirrel hook. Grapple onto trees like a real squirrel. Guide to Critter Companion. Prevents you from hurt, hurting critters while in the inventory. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's... No. And these I'm going to grab because... Glow sticks. Right, let's unlock these things. Uh, squirrel hook. Dog license. Is that all I grabbed? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give squirrel hook. Dog license. Squirrel hook. Now hook slot. There you go. Um, and I got the glow stick, so... Now, if I go like this, 
The license teleports away to the dog delivery service. Okay, should we summon a cat? Why not? Cat license. 20. I don't think you meant to have more than one. And I want to try one. These are cool. Let's see. As far as the glow glowy sticks go, this it's a cool addition. Kind of just floats out there. Alright, what else we got? Um Oh yeah, I wanted to figure out how to access mounts. So squirrel hook I think is E. Oh, it lets you also grab onto trees. That's cool. Usually it wouldn't grab a tree. Could also be an potentially annoying though. And pogo sticks. How do you access mounts with the keyboard? There we go. R. The letter R. You need more mollusks in your life. Should I go back for the mollusk thing? Because I could. Like, almost like they're designed to travel on that angle because if you s even on the surface they do the same thing they they angle on the so it's great for making uh, vertical horizontal shafts the vertical horizontal <laughs> what are they called Well, I mean, yeah, that, that's going to be make it really easy to to make um, train tracks that go down. Oh, shower. But then to like, is this in line? It's kind of in line, right? If I can get the depth meter. Couple more, couple more, couple more. All right. Dangerously. More bombs. If there's one thing we need, it's more bombs. Can 
can you ever have too many explosives? Um, everyone likes clams. Yeah. For something. Ah, I must blow my head off. I'm kind of slightly going upwards. Look at the trajectory on the map. Maybe we should go here. Dynamite in the wrong places. Nope, oh, need more. Fresh stack. Stop pressing fire! Oh, it's a chest. Oh crap. Gotta stop doing that. <laughs> Just blowing everything up. Oh sweet. Make ninja equipment eventually. Unlock. Sickmit the cat has arrived. certainly makes um makes the process of laying a mine track way easier it's gonna blow up the torch torch go boom My cabin's a bit thick. <laughs> I might just uh, focus it in a little bit more. Now, if you can make scarab TNT, that would be awesome. You just blow thick, straight lines through a place. Okay, 
like I wouldn't mind doing that. But it's a bit thin on the old. Darwin the dog. at that moment you remember that it fires in a big long straight line and you're down the direction that it's going to explode. Also not what I wanted. <laughs> what are you saying? Presence of mind is important. How very sage of you. Oops. <laughs> right, if I put it like that. Shit. Like, it's still not in the right direction. <laughs> right, it just wanted to go that way. No, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Do as you're told. Like when it, you go straight on to the wall like this, it'll just hammer through, but as soon as it's like too thick, it goes all wonky and all over the bloody place. I feel like there's something I'm missing. Uh, 
I guess I should go get some mine track. Question is, do I have it already? I have the wrong kind of track. All right, two things. One, see the merchant. Two, he's the dynamite guy. Who is the mine track guy? Probably no one. Oh, that's the golfer. All right, so we need iron. Do I have iron ore? Iron. Potions. All right, so we need to craft at a forge. There's a forge. I put a forge down here, but I should have meant to take it away again. Here we go, track. Alright. So now. Box. Done. Get rid of all this junk. Biscuit. Red team block. Red team platform. Chalice and a pad to tie. Medium improvements to all stats. Oh, I need 10 of those. So be it. That zebra skin. Oh, we need a hundred blocks and probably a hundred plat, two hundred platforms. Come here, punk. Give me all your platforms and your blocks. I want all your platforms and your blocks. grab that it's frustrating what the
Maybe I should have gone lower. We need like loop to loops and stuff. It's a very satisfying sound. <laughs> Two hits, bang, bang, gone. Ah, come on. Nothing will deserve me with the finch around. Uh, that noise. For a second I thought it was you eating something again. No, I don't eat. It's a lie. It's a lie perpetuated by Twitch thoughts. Looking to discredit my good name. Oh, the way to lay this is to do it like this. Because then I can move consistently. Ah, Wily e. Coyote style. Just need to put it ahead of myself a little bit. I need to change the spec to four because it goes like that. Oops. have to go down a little bit here. when they get hit. <laughs> the squishy noise. It almost sounds like, it reminds me of uh, Star Wars. The blasters. Alright, 
So now we know, we kind of know where we're at in terms of block placement. Okay, wait, so... Do they angle... They angle themselves based on my position. Oh, I didn't click my neck. I click it in. Maybe I should sit up straight. <sighs> so, if I stand right here, will it hurt me? That doesn't hurt, which is good. So, the problem is. right on this ground zero to it, it will hurt. So if I use... Will this hurt me? That hurts. Alright, I figured it out. Essentially what I want to do is do it like this. Oh, this is going to hurt. <laughs> but it doesn't have to hurt every time, just sometimes. <gasps> what is that? A her bag. Check it out. Straight lines, boys and girls, straight lines. The mysteries of Terraria have been revealed. Boom. Just like a pro.
<laughs> right, I need a. I've got one. So if I hook to the ceiling, I can. Ugh, I can keep a nice straight line like that. Boom. It's nice that it always blows away from you because, you know, then you're always never in front of it. It's a little bit finicky, but at least it's... I guess it's functional, like, without being too much of a hassle. Boom 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 Wow not the direction you're facing but yes So it blasts directly away from you So you can create a sleeker angle just by creating distance But it's very cool Just solves a lot of problems. Boom.
Hey, it's a chest. enemies around you nice hey another herb bag can of worms good times grenades ropes shine potions are nice okay let's go consumables I assume no it's not Maybe it's in here. Actually, it's just search for it. Herb. Here a duck. Oh, whoops. And let's do the can of worms. We'll get to the can of worms one day. Oh, wait. Do I right click? Very handy. You need herbs to make all the potions, well not all the potions, but there are ingredient and potions. Done. It's done, 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 done. Oh, whoops. <laughs> done. Okay, is that everything? That's everything. All right, get ready. Get out of here. Her bag. It's time to bring the card up. Ah, crap. <laughs> Oopsie. It's not enough. It's only going to do one row.
Boom. Rumble Sphere. Boom. Boom, boom. Oh, corruption. Ah! Ah! I'm out. I'm out. I need more. Whoops. Almost out of tracks, too. I was expecting that. Whoa. Die. She will die. You have two choices. Die. <laughs> Choose wisely.
track. Get off me. Uh, how did it come about? Always been meaning to ask you, what is your penchant for goblins? Ah. <laughs> uh, so. After I got into D&D. &D, and then one day, um, Pathfinder came out. And Pathfinder released this. I didn't. I wasn't really big on goblins or anything. And Pathfinder released this thing called. Um, what was it called? Goblins of Galoin. And um, I don't know how I learnt about it. Anyway, I picked up the book because of learning about it and uh, and it and they introduced goblins as a as a PC race you know play character race for for D&D &D. and um, well they gave it stats and they they the little the, the book it gave all, an outline of all kinds of stuff how these little guys what they were like and why they were that way and stuff like that and I really liked the whole thing um, and I thought their their portrayal of goblins was awesome and the and it looked like a lot of fun I never got to play <laughs> no one no one ever wants to play a goblin campaign or anything <laughs> but um, so yeah, I was interested in playing a goblin character then, and uh, yeah, I think it just grew from there. So um, I think the the character Squib, its initial earliest concept was a was a D and D rogue character, and if you look on the um, like on my Discord, the picture I have for the Discord is the the icon that I used for the character, and because we we use a program called um, what do we call it? I don't know. Game table. And so in game table, you, you know you you make you can make a pog, you can make pogs. They're not too difficult to make, though. I get the guys, the others, to make all mine. So I scr scrounged that, and then I created this. Yeah, that was part of the the character game that I played initially. I did actually play a goblin character, it just wasn't in like a goblin campaign and with other people playing goblins or monster races, because no one else really likes to play monster races. I just seem to do it. <laughs> Not you know, there's always that there is there's always that one person in the group who plays monster races or does something. And uh I never actually I just I still don't actually think of myself as that person because like a lot of my core characters are human or yeah just pretty much human all of my yeah, core characters or or um and but then even when I make when I make a character who's a quote unquote monster race like a goblin or a lizard man or a I, I did make a bugbear once but I wouldn't say that that character was that was more like a for a muck around adventure so it wasn't like you know it wasn't fully fleshed out or anything it was more of a game concept than it was a character concept um, yeah so yeah so I, I, I so because my characters to me are fully fleshed out characters say like squib or Harul, or uh, like I've played briefly. I've played Harul in D and D, for example. Though having said that, at the time of creating these characters, they're not and they're not terribly fleshed out. Like it, I put years into a character. When I when I create a character, I'll be playing. I'll be playing. I'll be working on a character for years, and <laughs> like even um, my my two main what would you call them alter ego characters like 
you know, ones that are part of your, your id, your, your um, legacy characters is another term for it. Even those characters, say Carmel is one of those characters for me, like a core, a legacy character, and I'm still working on that character in ways, in certain ways. Like, there are settings that he exists in, in different you know genres and different settings and in some settings there are there are there's stuff that needs work on like the the year of the bear thing he's more of a stand-in like don't don't think of that as like a uh, core carmel it's not it's just i just was kind of using him as a as a purpose for for the purpose of writing the story that's that's probably the first time i've ever written a story for the story as opposed to um writing about characters like i would say that um this the squib is the story squib is character driven whereas year of the bear was not necess it wasn't really character driven it was more you know more what i would call like a class traditional um Yeah, um, so yeah, so anyway, so, so I, so I, so I, I think if you asked the people I play with, they would probably say that I was a, um, I, I was that player that plays monster races. I just don't, I just, and it's true. It is true. Like I do, because I do play, um, my I do play monster races, but I just don't see it like that. Oh, hold on. Give me one sec. I gotta see. So, so yeah. So that was Squib's kind of foundations was in this D and D thing, and um, and the the initial thing with goblins in itself, and I don't know. It's kind of become a thing from there, like. You may think, say, you look at me playing a goblin team in Blood Bowl and think that's a theme, but I don't see it that way. Because in terms of Blood Bowl, like, there are various races, and some races appeal to you and not. It's And I'm not playing a goblin uh, team a because I'm like, yes, goblins, I love goblins. It's just that that the team itself, the mechanics, is interesting up. to me. Okay, hold on, I've just got to... All right, there we go. All right, all right. Uh, all right, did I? Okay, that needs to go. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, forgot. Blow this thing. All right, there we go. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. The, the thing is, is, the other thing is, is that, of course, the more I've gone down this kind of, this rabbit hole, I, I end up, say, like, now I'm on about Skaven. <laughs> because on Blood Bowl, I really like it. So, yeah, now I'm like, I'm not all about Skaven, but I'm, I've, Say I've I actually went to the effort of making a um I made stat blocks for a, a what I call what are called rat boys in uh, in my campaign. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. Um, when I was, although there have been other little things as well, like when I was a teenager, I had mates who played Magic the Gathering, and say, there was one, one mate who, he had a goblin deck, he built his magic deck, you know, goblin deck was, was a thing, 
because you can get all kinds of goblin cards and if you you know if you have goblins you get goblin the goblin skills gave you synergies if you had goblins so the more goblins you have the more you know the benefits the more benefits you get and um, and that stuck out to me and then there was Warhammer say Warhammer um, fantasy and you had night goblins they were that was a thing and it I you know I like the look of them the 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 black robe with the hoods up and um, and I remember that they had um, it was chaotic there was this chaotic nature to things like you could be doing everything right and everything would just be going wildly wrong because they would you know they'd blow themselves up and I don't know there's something about that chaos thing that that um, it just appeals to me it's it's it interests me I'm like it, it, I think it's cool I don't know why I just do I haven't really delved into the psychology of this before so I don't know I don't know there's um there's a there's a in D and D in the sorceress class, you can go with um. A, you can. You you choose one of two thingamajigs like um what's it called? Um, there are two paths you can do. You can do draconic ancestry, which allows which you know gives you certain benefits, and then there's the um, wild magic or something like that and essentially um, with the wild magic every, any, any time you cast a spell you, you're meant to or your DM will roll on a table and some some chaotic thing on a you know on a 30 list um, table roll table with like a D roll of D hundred and something happens something crazy something wild you know it could be an extra lightning bolt or you know something could go wrong and you explode kind of thing and like that appeals to me but it's just so for making a character and so then for me it's like yeah you would make a goblin sorcerer and you would have that as their path as well to me like that's what you would that's what i would do but I mean, I haven't done it because I don't know. It just there are there are if I, you, you have limited options or limited chances to play D and D, and you get you have to pick your character and put it in the adventure that you know you hope that you can play in. And you have different DMs, so you might you know there might be DMs you don't care about making some something that's crazy or stupid or a discardable character. And um, yeah, anyway, so in a in a more um, more serious campaign, I I would I go the other option, you know, I make a character that's that I intend to take forever and to develop immensely in some important way to me, you know, in some fashion. And so, yeah. Anyway, the, the point is, is that the the chaotic nature of that table really appeals to me, for some, <laughs> just like goblins. Got this stupid notification. Let's do that. I don't want to broadcast through Steam to individual people. It's annoying. Uh, nothing wrong with some chaos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so you know, people talk about the um, the chaos neutral. I mean, the the chaotic good or the law and evil goodness alignment that's right alignment thing they talk about that it's a fun topic in dnd and stuff and people will like question what they're kind of like or whatever and yeah so m my characters tend to be chaotic good man we're close to the surface maybe we should be going down now we're good um yeah they they tend to be tend to be categorized like i play barbarians and um uh, bards and 
um, sorcerers. I've done some other stuff, but my mains are all, all those sorts of things, I would say. Um, and yeah, they just tend to be kind of good. Uh, and the, and if you, you know, if you're kind of, if you're a believer in sort of alter egos and, um, and ids, especially if you're a, a creative person, like a writer, like I am, or, you know, that the whole write what you know thing is, I mean, it's not just a good piece of advice. It's kind of like something that happens. <laughs> you, you do just write what you know because you, you know, you're limited to your own experiences or your own um, research at least. And um, uh, hold on. <laughs> uh, 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 so Um, I was talking about ids and alter egos. All right, what year were you? To help, helping someone with a question. Okay, anyway, um... It's an alter egos. I don't know. I can't remember what, what my uh, train of thought there was. Writing what you know, you can only write from personal experience, right? Um, yeah, so, so you know, so there is a, there's a huge element of yourself that goes into your writing. When you, your characters, when you create a character or um, at least your main characters, I mean, you can, you can create all kinds of characters. And, and I mean, if you really, if you're, if you're really honest, and if you, or if you have enough experience to know, you can really see, at the even like a minor character, um, they 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 are often microcosms of yourself, like maybe a small aspect. Um, but yeah, I guess you know that's in line with that's in line with at least my worldview of the creative order, like. You know, if you believe in in a god creator who, who's made a world out of not out of himself, it's not what I would think. But uh, you know, um, his with his nature being um, the basis for anything that comes, anything that he creates is is based on the nature of the creator. So let's say that. So as created beings within that same order and with in, uh, with this created with 
in with the image of that same creator then you, the same thing occurs you know you make a character or you write a or well, not a story but you make the things you create uh, these characters you make are just you know parts of yourself you can also though um, you also you definitely draw inspiration from other people like that's another thing you can do as well so you can make a character based on someone you know at least your impression of them but that's often enough like with enough self-reflection and um, empathy or you know with the human experience oh shit you can um You can understand a person in enough capacity to write a character based on someone else, and, and then that becomes a real character. Although, I mean, it always has your voice. And to not have... Shit. To not... Fuck. <laughs> to not have your voice takes a lot of conscious effort. Like, if you are got, you know, really going outside of yourself to create something unlike yourself... Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a lot of it's an additional step, I'd say. Oh, all right, what do they want now? Alright, sorry, I have someone asking me questions. Asking me for help with stuff. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Toodaloo! See ya! See ya, Tabs, and have a good day. I don't mind typing to you. No, it's Blood Moon. Just to make things interesting, how far... Alright, I'm basically eating the surface. Question is, should I go down? I don't think I should. I think we should just keep going. But, um, so one of the benefits I've also had with regards to writing and whatnot is that is for as long as I've been doing it. Oh, the queen bee has spawned. Oh no, it's in the, in the jungle biome. Um, yeah, for as long as I've been writing, the wife has also been writing. And so, and we've been writing together. So... Um, and talking about things as we go and learning as we go. So we've had the combined creative power and discovery making of two people who have been continually communicating about it as we go, as we've gone. And so you you get to make and share insights and but also talk about characters and decisions and acts because it, it and and also not just writing with just each other but also um 
with other people as well well and then getting to critique or just learn or see mistakes and pitfalls and talk about those sorts of things and, and not and see what sucks and and like especially to do with characterizations and decision making like you know um, there's that movie with um, what's his name not Richard Gere in Ant-Man the guy who plays the the, the father of the old Ant-Man not the new one um, you know the father of um, what's her face I forget who that actor is anyway him Richard Douglas no I, I, no, I'm thinking of Richard Gere, but it's not him, it's Michael Douglas. Um, he's in this, there's this movie he's in where he's a professor, who, he's a writer and a professor, and he hasn't, he's been in the story, it's got Katie Holmes in it, and um, she's in his class, and she's meant to be, he's meant to be writing this book, but he, he's got a, um, He's got a transcript. Like a, he's got a lot of pages of this book print, but it's not finished, and he's kind of got writer's block. And um, in his class, one of the lessons he, you know, tells his kids is, you've got to make a decision. And one of the big takeaways along the story is that he, Katie Holmes, gets a, her hands on his um, his transcript, his his book, his draft, and she's like, you know, he's like, all right, so what do you think? And she says, well, you know how you said to make decisions. It's like you didn't, you, you haven't, you won't make a decision or you haven't made any decision. And so the book was just wafting on, which is why he had writer's block and why it wasn't getting completed. And I didn't really know what the, the point of the movie is overall. But, you know, that well before I was, you know, saw myself as a writer, I remember that scene and I remember that part of the movie and stuff. And, um, yeah, and it stuck out to me, and, and so, so, yeah, part of writing, especially with a character, like, in your normal everyday life, things happen to you, and you make decisions, and with a character, there are times when you'll be writing, and there's a storyline or a plot or there's a relationship and something's happening with it and you you're like okay because it's it's not your life it's another character that's outside of you and you're like okay so what is natural for them at this point like what's the what's within their character and their experiences and what do they think about this and you know, so there's a general kind of guideline as to how they would react, but at the same time, there's there it's there are those moments where it's like, well, they could be they you know they could go either way on this. They could there's no clear thing, and so then you it, it's one of those situations where you have to you're meant to make a decision, and it's like what what path. What storyline is that the, this character going to pursue with this particular thing? Like, are they going to be fine with it and there's no conflict? Or is it going to become a conflict? And, which is maybe kind of a way of saying conflict for conflict's sake. Because, you know, stories and character development need conflict. Um, but, yeah, there's... It's, it's like a, there's a decision... And which is weird. It's kind of weird because, like, yeah, because it's a created thing, you're making a decision. But, um, um, but, but, you, but, you know, you're, you're trying to make, you're trying to write these characters who are who are real and it's kind of weird because in your lived experience you're not outside of yourself saying what decision am I what what path in the story am I going to take myself down that doesn't happen you kind of just do that you might think 
am I gonna be angry about this or or chill about this thing that's happened? Like that that might be you know, what occurs in your head and and um but it's but that's not the same thing. It's it's different. It fe it, it feels different. Conflict within, conflict without. Yeah, conflict forces development. Yes, it does. And it, you know, and that that's interesting, and it makes things interesting. I mean, everything doesn't have to be conflict, and boy, oh boy, can some people do that? And and they go from zero to a hundred instantly. Like there's no there's no build up. There's no there's no um kind of there's no ad creating tension. There's no adding you're developing. It's just like all right, all in balls <laughs> balls to the wall. <laughs> but anyway, that's another topic. So yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what the the big deal is with goblins. I do, I just like them. I like I like I like the aesthetic. Um, they're crazy. Um, it it does make it difficult to create a makes it difficult to create a. Um, I don't know, a character you can actually do something with. Um, in Critical Role, in the second season of Critical Role, Sam Regal, who in the first season he played, is his first time he ever played D&D. And he played a gnome bard of all bloody things. But he didn't know what he was doing, but he just, you know, he did really well because he was just kind of making up and having fun as he went. And in the second season, he made a goblin. And kind of, kind of uh, mysterious. You didn't, you wouldn't know. Well, there's, you know, they have their story and backstory. So, so the story has progressed, and it. And if you've watched, uh, you like to moisturize. <laughs> um, if if you interested in Critical Role, there's a spoiler alert if you're working through it, so I doubt anyone, I doubt you'll watch it, listen to it, but, so, uh, and you're the only one here right now, but here we go, so the, um, the story was, the story turns out that this goblin is, was actually a halfling who some um, goblin put a curse from a goblin tribe, cursed her for some reason, I can't remember the reason right now, and the halfling, and turned her into a goblin, and she had been like a goblin for two years now, something like that, some some amount of time, and, uh, fuck, keep missing, um, yeah, so it was like, oh, here's, this is cool, here's a goblin character, and they worked in the story and with the team and everything, but it was, a, for me, it was a little disappointing to find out that actually it's a halfling who has been transformed into a goblin. It, it, yeah, it was, I don't know. It was kind of like, <laughs> it's just a different story. So, though he did really well as this goblin and they did have, they had, they, they had lived, they had to adopt the realities of living uh, the, the goblin life but um, but also they had been a goblin so long they they even had um, like they had adopted a goblin nature which isn't so weird from a, um, a halfling both being small races and halflings are kind of a bit crazy just not goblin crazy um, but still it was just I don't know it, it it was disappointing, you know, like, who can do it? Who can do a really good, genuine goblin? I haven't watched or listened to it, seen them stream quite a bit and know a little about them apart from playing them playing D. Yeah, I wouldn't, I, there's a couple reasons why I wouldn't watch the stream. One, 
the stream is they play for like three hours right so it's a three hour stream it's a huge time investment it's not easy to sit down and watch it unless you're you know i don't know for some whatever reason that's the thing that you do um so i think i feel that i listen to it all by a podcast and i have the my life set up so that that is it makes sense and so yeah i consume it like because because of the because of corona chan <laughs> we we can't they can't um, produce because they're out of their studio being in isolation like everybody else and um and as a result yeah there's no new episodes for season two and and i've actually just been going i've gone back and i'm listening to season one again <laughs> i'm like 60 episodes deep and after a couple of weeks of you know three hour episodes of critical role so yeah and it's great i love it i love listening to it um but definitely better for podcast if you're like a trucker or like me where you have a job where you're driving around or um or it's the sort of thing i would do when i was initially listening to it i, I was behind i started after the series started so there was a lot um there was a lot of back log to listen to and um and i would listen like while doing dishes or yeah just whatever just all the time just on an ipod when it was convenient when i was doing stuff with my hands and i didn't need my i didn't need my eyes to read or i didn't have to pay attention to the story of a game um but like i couldn't do it or if you could, it's one of those things like you, you can't you couldn't listen to it or a story while playing an intense game, say like Cross Out, because the Cross Out or like a PvP of that intensity, it's so intense. It's, it's it draws every faucet of your attention. Once the once the um the heat gets on in the in those combat scenarios, yeah, I get I get absorbed a hundred percent. Like my hands, my eyes, my ears, everything is just, and I, I just black out to um, all external stimulus, so I can't follow a story. And so I'd miss stuff, and then I'd have to like go back, hit the rewind button every every time. Because I would, when I'd play Cross Out, I would listen to stuff or watch YouTube, or so I don't know. And I would, or even on Twitch, you know, I'd be talking on Twitch, and you'd notice that you know you're in the main menu you're loading into a match the match starts you drive across the battlefield and at that point of contact with the enemy everything stops <laughs> and so the talking just stops and the same thing happens ah this this dirty sticky bomb more dirt for that so yeah it's probably not a, a topic I've probably talked and thought about more than writing well maybe there is another topic that I have Blocks building. Is this not what I want? Oh, materials. There they are! Huzzah! My roof's gotten smaller. <laughs> I should go up. Oh, I missed. It's not good. I don't want to go through the air. Oops, 
blew up the track. Anyway, let's see ya. Uh, it gets that way, yeah. Yes, it does. So, yeah. So, I think my inventory's full. Oh. Sparkling, useless. Oh, mining potions are cool. There's a lot in this. It's nice being able to store your stuff in your, you know, in a spawnable slot as opposed to taking it back and then creating a comprehensive system to um, to store everything in because it because it gets incredibly elaborate <laughs> there's so much so many items so many things you could do which is what you do you, know, you collect stuff and because a lot of the base stuff even magical items you end up using them to craft like more epic tier stuff it, it joins their properties Yeah, yeah, storing is less of an issue. But that same at the same time it like it also takes away that aspect of the game, so you know, maybe that's important to you in which case, you know it's a reason not to be fond of the mode. I definitely for long time players it's it's the way to go. It really it cuts out all the um the chaff. It's all just wheat the chaff. It's just the good stuff. It's just the grain. Oh he's got a potion. Give me a wormhole potion. Okay. So we didn't D&D last week because one of our players was unable to play. <sighs> Which is okay, I guess. It's at that time of the year where the game starts at 2 for me. On a day that I have off, but school gets out at 3, so... Usually I pick up the kids on Mondays and Tuesdays. My day's home. But... Now I get to uh, ask the wife to do that for me on Tuesdays. And yeah, and the um, it's all going good. It'd be nice to. It's I I love DMing, and I love you know letting my story unfold. Um, but I also like to play as well and a particular character's story unfold, although it doesn't really happen that much for me. <laughs> kind of the nature. Like, my adventure, my campaign is huge, sprawling, ongoing, and the characters in it, you know, have been played for as long as the players want to play them. And if they want to swap, they swap, and it's all designed that that can happen very easily. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. But my experience with other teams is, you know, they play for a limited time. Even if they take a break when they start up again, they pick it. They do a different adventure, and it probably has like it's a different level or it has different, you know, different location or something that makes it less feasible to run the character you're running. Or you, you know, you go from one DM 
and then the next time it's a different DM, and so it's 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 different. It's a different feel and setting, and you you don't you may not want to run your one character with one DM that you want to run with another one because of you know different styles and stuff. So yeah. So it's, it's easier to get out more from running your own. Even though you lose out on that part of the experience if you do. But hopefully there's some opportunities in the future. Which there will after I've done my run. My stint. It's time to make this tunnel a bit thicker again. We'll start right here. Nope, out of bombs. What is the time? 3.30. The bombs, yeah, the bombs. The bombs are good, yeah. It's interesting. How much one game has impacted so much? You mean D and D? <laughs> yeah, I only just feel like I've been getting out of um, what I would consider like newbie status of D and D. Like, say that I'm an experienced player now who actually understands the game and can play it fluidly and can run it confidently and <laughs> and there are elements that I still are not my strong suit but the story elements and stuff characters and plots and you know the adventure side of it that's me I'm, I've got that down I'm good at that when it comes to like loot and dungeon crawls and plan like creating maps and uh even like creating encounters is something I've been working on more lately. Um, yeah, it's not it's not my strength. It's, it's... But before D and D, or I mean, I I was trying to get into D and D. Let's say when I was I don't know eighteen or something. I knew about it, and and. The first place I even tried to shit to um, play on was I found D and D because because in being in in Z and I don't you know I didn't I don't know where you go to find people to play it and the internet wasn't what it was now <laughs> and um, yeah we we used I found a message board you know searched it up. There's an old board called Easy Board, and like a forum, and it um, and it it changed hands and stuff. But that's where I started playing. An impressionable age, yeah, I guess. I mean, you know, at that time, at that age, when you're that age, your mind really switching on. You just get out of school and. You, there's an awareness that kind of comes over you and yeah you know after that age especially for me you start feeling like and you know you're moving into that adult realm you get all the responsibilities I'd been out of school already f by 18 for like two years working and stuff and uh, and I had a fiance at that age and yeah and was wanted to get married but couldn't at that age 
and have kids and stuff. So, yeah, um, and so other, but besides the actual, you know, d and I was writing, and Fiona, the wife, was writing. We were, you know, doing the character creations and getting into all that story stuff, and d and was just... D and D, like those elements, just transfer over. If you if you're good at it, if you want to, you don't have to. Obviously, some people don't. Some players just want to kill stuff. <laughs> they just want to be a murder hobo. And if they're good, if they're nice, they'll um, they'll. Uh, with patience, they'll tolerate the other guys that want to do the other elements of the game too, instead of just being a murder hobo. Oh no! <laughs> I've hit the. You said you both wrote together and researched together. You have you ever thought of writing a thing and selling a thing together? I know you said your wife only does it for personal amusement, but that has it ever come up in conversation? Um, I've considered it. Um, I've suggested to her to, you know, create something to put it out, to put out there, and I've also, um, and she's also talked about, you know, she said like, oh man, I should do this because such and so reason. Um, but she's, she's never explicitly wanted to, to do a thing. And yeah, I think, I don't know how much, maybe we have talked about it a little bit in some ways, maybe not intensely, but, um, Yeah, um, a collaborative, say, book. I mean, we could, we could, I think we know we could definitely do something like that. Um, it's just, I think the, the logistical thing is the tricky part. Like, if you're going to do that, someone would definitely be the lead on it, say, would know the general story or um, create the, the plot or whatever that kind of thing and which would probably be her to be honest because um, she's she's way better at it you know like how I was saying like the bears is the only thing that I've written that was like not strictly character driven it was like plot driven well like she does like I do she she's the same she writes um, character based story but when it comes to like running a strong meta narrative for, a, for a, from a character's perspective and stuff she's um, she does amazing work like amazing it just it's the kind of stuff that blows your mind like you like far out a lot of thought, a lot of depth. She'll do research and stuff. I'm really like, you know, that chaotic new, the chaotic good nature thing alignment that I was talking about. Like, 
that's so that that drives a lot of my creative um thing like i'll make i'll come up with all kinds of cool and interesting ideas and um but um it's it's always off the cuff like it's it's just uh, you know you tend to just go with pure inspiration and um without a lot of planning and whatnot <laughs> and i don't find planning easy or enjoyable <laughs> or like I, d I don't i don't really know how to do it very well <laughs> so um yeah but she's really good at it so yeah i know it would be her that would do it and that's fine so but that's the thing is so if she were to you know make that sort of um take that the lead role say um yeah, it would. It means that she's gonna be the one to kick that sort of thing off. Um, yeah, and then I would be. Then I'm the main drive, driving support. I'm the other side of the the body, like the left. I'm the you know it's the, like the left and right hand or the left and right foot. Um, and actually, that's what it, how it's been even with the projects we've watered on. Hard carry wives are the best. <laughs> so, so like, say, um, she, you know, like she, she initially, with the creative writing role play, the groups with the writers and stuff, she was the one who's like, you know, I'm gonna make my own. Like, she had taken part of mine. She said, like, I wanna make my own. Will you join? And she had her and her, say, her best friend. Who were also writing together. and she's like you know will, will you if i make this will you come and join i'm like yeah sure you know whatever if, if you want to do it I'll, I'll i'll join i'll have that i'm on board cool um i just you know want to be lazy about certain aspects but anyway that's, that's beside the point <laughs> so i i joined and i do my part and then when everything's set up and ready to go it's like she's like okay um, well, will you, you know, kick it off? Will you write the first thing? Will you start it? <laughs> and I'm like, every single time, everyone, without fail, every every time she made a, um, made one of these communities, these boards, every single time, I was the first person to actually write something and put it in there and then kick off the storylines. <laughs> Establish the first scene with the first character and that other people would then join in with and stuff and yeah that's just that's just how it is like i don't i don't know why it's, it's like that it just is like that and there were multiple opportunities for it to not be me but it was just me so uh it's it's part of this dynamic i guess that we have in this realm probably probably other realm you know it probably extends beyond that as well but that's just how it was any more bombs not going anywhere without more bombs so yeah but i, I don't know like I, don't, I just maybe i don't know if it's actually something that we want to do or i don't know I like I the stuff that I have done is was the reason I even shit started to embark on it in the first place was out of a a necessity like something I I felt I really had to do for various reasons like say maybe financial drive or um but also like a need to produce something of worth and value um and the funny thing is like you know without motivations why do you do stuff <laughs> if you're not motivated to pursue something that is work um yeah how are you gonna how do you how do you get on with it how do you even begin it what how are you going to make yourself do it? It's just... Fuck. So, 
yeah, so I, I don't know. I don't know if it can even be a thing because, you know, if she's not, if she's not motivated to kind of kick it off as the lead thing, then, and, yeah, why would it even begin, you know? So I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure it's something we could do and we kind of have in a in our way talked about it a bit but not in like a serious like should we do this what would it look like I wonder if my next step is to take on the wall of flesh But uh, if you have to talk yourself into something, yeah, I can be done. You want me some help? Okay. All right, that's enough streaming for today. I'm gonna go do some other stuff. It's, uh, yeah, it's three forty. Some people are cut out for certain things. Some people will see something as work. For those that should have always been doing it, doesn't seem that way. Hmm. That's true. <laughs> Alright, cool, um, so yeah, I guess uh, I'll stream some more later, another time, uh, catch you later curator.